The genius of Ralph Smedley, the founder of Toastmaster, is revealed by the inclusion of evaluations in the meetings, both written and most importantly, a verbal evaluation. Gino, our next evaluator, loves doing this. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Gino Jaramillo. Before the meeting, I asked Tom what the objective or purpose of his speech was, and he said he would tell us a story. He's a masterful storyteller. It was a bitter and brutal story. Aww. <laughs> it used humor. He had characters. He made a salient point about partners, not only his partner, but the partner of a partner and how important partners are in a business and in your life. Choose your partners wisely. He had some pauses that were really effective. Two things that distracted me were this little move here and this move here. Having his glasses in his hand the whole time and I'm going to do it just to distract all of you. <laughs> <laughs> what could improve the speech besides a 50-year story that you are the only one that has this 50-year story? Some of us in this room, not me, are not even 50. <laughs> <laughs> Is the development of the characters. You told us about Frank. I would like to hear more about him. He told us about his life and the trials and tribulations he had, but what did he look like? And a trick he could use is, oh, he was tall and slender, he looked like Pat Riley. That lets us fill in exactly what he looked like, so to describe the characters. And to describe your partner a little bit too. Now some pauses were a bit too long, and I think you were trying to remember something. So watch that, it'll improve. And then you started really loud. Your voice was projecting, it was captivating. But towards the end of the speech, it kind of tapered off a little bit. So just keep that same volume or vary the volume. You have a lot of buts, but this, but that. And I'm not sure how that fit in real well. It's, it's not a good transition for you. You had a good ending. It, it was ready, you had it triggered. And it was tied to the beginning, which is, everybody knows that Beatles song? The long and winding road. Yes. And he had that at the end, but he kind of rushed it and, it, and it ended abruptly, but it would have been really cool to hear you tie it up at the end with that. And I think what happened to you, and what's cool about it, is when you tell a story, your emotions, your emotions got in there. That was really cool. I like that very much. Thank you for sharing that story.